Ten English expressions with the word "cut" from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, a cut above. If something is a cut above something else, it means it's better or superior. For example, the director's second film was definitely a cut above his first. We usually use this expression to compare two things of the same type. Number two, cut corners. To cut corners means to save money or effort by finding a cheaper or easier way to do something, but a way which might be dishonest or result in lower quality. For example, you shouldn't cut corners when it comes to building a house. You don't want to risk the roof collapsing or something like that. Number three, cut class. If a student cuts class, he or she decides not to go to class when they are supposed to be in class. For example, on Friday afternoon, the teenagers cut class and went to a movie instead. Number four, cut it out. This is an informal way to tell somebody to stop doing something, especially when that person is doing something annoying. For example, the kids were fighting, and I told them to cut it out. Number five, cut a deal. This is an informal expression used to say make an agreement, especially in business or politics. For example, we managed to cut a deal with the new manufacturer and saved twenty percent on our products. Number six, cut one's losses. Let's say you've been investing some time, effort, and/or money in a project or activity that is failing. You should cut your losses, stop doing the project or activity, in order to avoid wasting any more resources. For example, after three months of classes, I wasn't making any progress, so I decided to cut my losses and quit. Number seven, not cut out for something. If you are not cut out for something like an activity or a profession, it means you are not the right type of person to do it. For example, my parents wanted me to be an engineer, but I just wasn't cut out for it. I'm terrible at math. I prefer the arts. Number eight, cut someone some slack. This means to treat a person less strictly than usual, or to allow them a bit of additional freedom. For example, the boss wanted this project done yesterday, but it was a ton of work, and I knew I wouldn't be able to finish it all. Luckily, she cut me some slack and extended the deadline. Number nine, cut to the chase. This means get directly to the point, the important part in a discussion, without wasting time on things that aren't important. For example, let's cut to the chase. We don't have time to talk about all that other stuff. Number ten, have your work cut out for you. This expression means you have a difficult task to do. For example, the house is a complete mess. We have to clean the house before the dinner party at seven. We've got our work cut out for us. If you'd like to learn more expressions in spoken English, check out the Everyday English Speaking Course available at EspressoEnglish.net. In this course, you'll learn the phrases that native speakers use in daily life. Visit espressoenglish.net, click on courses, and look for everyday English speaking, where you can take a sample lesson, see the full lesson list, and register for the course.